Let's bring in former Deputy National Security Advisor, KT McFarland. KT, it's always great to see you. And what's interesting to me is the Democrats are, are now threatened by the relationships that they're seeing across the globe, our foes coming together in many ways that we've never seen before. At the same time, I wonder why they don't look in the mirror and understand that it's Biden's foreign policy that created the groundwork that allowed these relationships to, to be forged. It's, it's pretty, really, really remarkable. Yeah, and Jackie, you're, you're right. The whole They're all coming together now. And this is what you saw today in those pictures. Welcome to the Cold War 2.0. We now have Russia and China declaring that they have no limits to their friendship. You now have Putin, who's going to North Korea, clearly with the approval of China. China decides what North Korea does and doesn't do. And so they're now cementing their alliance, their axis of evil, if you will. And it wasn't just Putin going to North Korea. This was a summit meeting because Putin brought all of his top leaders, his foreign minister, his defense minister. They're there to talk about their military relationship, their economic relationship, and how they're going to scramble the United States. You know, the, pro the problem with the Biden administration, Jackie, is they keep saying, well, we're going to consult with China, we're going to consult with Russia, we're going to consult with, we're going to consult with everybody to have a, a more peaceful world or a stable world. These guys don't want stability. China doesn't want stability. Russia doesn't want stability. Iran doesn't want stability. North Korea doesn't want stability because they know that they can achieve their objective in an unstable world, and that's to push the United States off of the senior leadership of the globe. And you know, it's happened so often, KT, in American history, when, when we have a, a weak president or a, a weak administration of some sort where our enemies will coalesce, when there is weakness in the nation, I mean, during, sometimes it's not necessarily the president's problem during the depression, it was, it was the weakness of our economy, uh, and that, that sort of led to, to our enemies taking power in Europe and, and in the Far East. Uh, but it's happening again, and it's not just North Korea and Russia and China we're talking about. There's a group called BRICS, which actually does include Russia and China, but the B is for Brazil. Right. It includes India, South Africa. They're not all friends of, of the United States, to put it mildly. And now there's another partner in Malaysia, uh, or at least they want to become a partner of BRICS. They want to join BRICS. So it, again, it's the coalition of, of people who, not all of them are, are enemies, uh, certainly India is not, but they're people that want to unite and replace the United States as a world leader. Yeah, and the BRICS, you know, a number of those countries are what we used to call the third world. These is the global south. And that's what China and Russia are looking at. They realize that the most economic growth is going to come from those parts of the world in the next 20 years, and that's where they're focusing their efforts. They're not as worried about Europe, they're not as worried about Asia, but they really are concerned with who wins the global south. That's South America, South Asia, um, Southeast Asia, Africa. That's where they're putting their effort, and that's where they're putting their money. But the other thing is, why do they have the money? Mm. This is a really important point. The Bi President Biden enriched Iran. He enriched yeah. Russia because of his energy policies. You have to, oil was $120 a barrel in the Obama administration. President Trump comes in, unleashes American energy. Oil goes down to $40 a barrel. Biden comes in, undoes everything Trump does, and where's oil? Back at $80, $90 a barrel. Now, what does that today. mean? Because those high oil prices give Russia an up again today. And what does that mean? Russia's richer. Iran is richer, yeah. the bad guys are richer, and they're going to exploit that, and they're going to really exploit it for the next several months. This is their window of opportunity while Joe Biden's still president. We have actually bankrolled Iran to cause chaos That's right. in the Middle of course East, we essentially, KT. Yeah. Um, always great to see you, KT yeah. McFarland. Thank you, Thank KT. You.